I'm Jason Moniz. Uh, I grew up at Delacro. I mean, my mom and dad lived in Violet, but uh, it took 10 trucks and 50 horses to get me to Violet. You know, and I lived, I stayed here with my grandma and grandpa as much as they would let me. Was ever since we was old enough to get on a boat, my grandpa, my dad, they all brought us on a boat. We worked on a boat with them when we was kids, and then, uh, you know, as we got old enough, but we actually did something, they would pay us to go out on a boat with them. I've been working on a boat since I was probably, in, you know, grammar school. This area, of, I mean Delacroix Island, they put out probably 100 to 200,000 pounds of crabs a week. You know, probably probably double that most of the time goes out of this place every week. You know, and it goes to picking factories, and it goes to all of the good big crabs go shipped up to Baltimore up north. That's the crab capital of the world. That's the, that's the logo. The Baltimore blue crab comes right out of Louisiana. I opened my own seafood market before the storm because I wanted to better myself because we don't you'd always get what we deserve for for what we go out there and catch and you know, I lost it with the storm but you know it, it's not gonna stop me I may open it I may open another one you know I may not you know I me mean? but like I said I love what I do because if I don't make enough money that week, I can't blame nobody but myself. I was born into a working family, and uh, that's that's what we are. You know, it's it's not just a uh, job. It's who yeah. you are. And like I said, the only people that can understand something like that is some of these farmers. Or I mean, half the people that go to school get in college and say, what am I going to be? But I knew what I was going to be when I was 8, 10, you know, I don't, I'm not sure when I knew but I knew from a very young age what I was going to do. My mom's side of the family, I mean, we all live right, right, right by each other. Not just mom and dad and mama and papa, it's uncles, cousins. We all live within, you know, 20 minutes. You could see just about anyone in your family. And and as far as, you know, that's what keeps you here. And, and, and like I said, the whole factor that you make a living here keeps you here. Amanda Serenade, Jason Monez's future wife. Their house it was a normal house. Three bedroom, two bed, just normal house. But I tell you what, every day they had people in that house. It was a packed house. Everybody would come down, everybody would be there. It was a big family thing. It was, it, uh, this family is so, they, they do anything for anybody. They don't tell nobody no. Every day, his grandma would cook dinner she would have dinner set at 11 o'clock in the morning. Table set like a feast. That was the main cause of the day was lunch. It was always a full house. We had birthday parties underneath the house in the basement. It was just friends. It was very fun. I, you, you miss it. You still have it, but it's not the same. And we'll get it back. That's my yeah. goal to get it back right here where we was. Same spot. I don't plan on changing anything. I plan on putting the same color siding on the house when we build it. Yeah. 
the, the storm was over and they were so devastated. You know, I said, well, y'all did this once already. Why you can't do it again? And that's what their answer was, that we, you know, we too old. I said, well, I don't want you to do anything. Sit in, the, and sit in your trail up the road and let me do it. You know, let me rebuild it and you come home. You know, that's all you need to do. You know, because, you know, like I said, my, my she had my great-grandpa. My great-grandpa wouldn't have rebuilt his house. He was old. My grandma and grandpa rebuilt their everything and, you know, put everybody back in their house. My grandma and grandpa has raised nephews and she's raised her, she raised her little brother. She raised uh, two or three of my grandpa's cousins, you know what I mean? They, they've taken care of everybody. You know, somebody needs to take care of them. Right. They've paid their dues, you know, and that's how I feel about it. She's had her times when she wanted to, you know, go get her own house. But I told myself a long time ago that my grandma and grandpa would never see a nursing home. Because my grandma would never let any one of us deal with something like that. So, like I said, I planned on, if we leave here tomorrow and go to wherever, I plan on living in the same house with them. You know, because they're getting old and they, and they need the help. And, and like I said, they've been there for us since we were little kids, you know, and it's only right that we do the same for them. I want to raise my family and take care of my family the way they took care of us. You know, I want to be, you know, I want everybody to come down here and do the same thing they did with them. I don't want anything to change. And my, my grandpa is, you know, he's, he's, he's a good man. He's, he wouldn't do anybody wrong. Anybody, not even for the littlest bit, you know, and and that's just how I want to be, you know. If I could be what my grandpa is when I'm his age, then then I, I, I succeeded in life, and that's how I feel. That's what keeps me going. I'm fighting all this mess down here.